Are you dominating or at least kicking enough peach emojis out there on mobile games that you want to show off to the world but don't know how because mobile gaming doesn't really have a way to stream itself to the point that you can compete with the console or PC, even Mac players out there on the streaming networks? Well, hold up. Stay on this video and right after my intro, I'm in World 7 and I'm going to show you how you can show off your mobile gaming proudness on any streaming site and make Make it look just as good as any of those PC master race or console pro players or Mac video editors. Before we get started, let me get you the list that you're going to need to get everything done and ready. And it's going to take you less than 15 minutes and you're going to be up and running. So first, you're going to need your PC or Mac, okay? Needs doesn't need to be beefy, it just needs to be a decent one, not a potato. Well, maybe even a potato will work. Let me know in the comment section below if it does. But you're going to need a PC or Mac. Then you're going to need a router. It can be a modem router or just router, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a decent router, not your grandma's router okay needs to be modern no more than 10 years old i would suggest and then third you're not gonna need a cable you just need your ios device it can be i'd recommend an iphone 10 and up or iphone 8 or up but if it's an iphone 7 i'm pretty sure it'll work but i don't have one at hand to test it so let me know under social medias and world 7 if you're able to get this running on an iphone 7 i believe as long as you have ios 11 or 12 and higher, you should be able to run this software, which most iOS devices do. And fourth, you're gonna need the Screen Link app. And that one is the one you're gonna install on your iOS device. And then once you have this, of course, uh, well, there's a fifth one, <laughs> you're gonna need Elgato Game Capture HD. You don't need a capture card, none of that. No, no capture card. You could use one if you want to, to do a wired version of what I'm actually gonna show you. And if you're interested in that, come over to Twitch or Facebook Gaming. I don't know. Anyway, I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for sure on Twitch, and then Tuesday, Thursday on Facebook Gaming, but then not my Switch. I don't know how things are gonna go with my streaming, but I do that, so come and follow, why not? And then I can create a video on how to do the wired version of this, because there is one. Problem is, there's one that works for Mac only, which is plug and play and does not require a game capture card. And then there is one for Windows that does require a capture card. So hit the subscribe button with the bell and the like activated so you get notified whenever those two videos come out. That way you can fit your agenda. And by the way, the one with the capture card does work on Android. All right, so we're gonna start on the computer. This is gonna be for iMac and Windows. So either way, it's gonna work for you. There are some caveats as to what, what you can do with each one. So for example, on Mac, it is a plug and play, literally. You can do the wire version, just plug and play, and that's it. Just stick around towards a little after. I'll do first the Windows 10 to see that one in action. And then on Windows, you need an actual different software in order to be able to use screen link. So send the signal from your phone or iPad to your computer on Windows and then in order to stream that it gets a little messier definitely with OBS and Streamlabs you can do it but for the sake of keeping this simple this video as simple and short as possible I won't show you that here but I will show you how you can get the signal on Windows and then if you need help uh, setting it up on OBS or Streamlabs then hit me up and I'll get that video going. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell activated and a like so you get notified whenever that video comes out if you're in need of that. But right now for Windows 10, we open Windows 10 and then you need the 4K Capture Utility software. I'll leave a link in the description. And the Game Capture HD, that's for Mac. You do need this software on Windows to stream, but it won't work for Screen Link on Windows, but it does on Mac, it's, it's weird. So anyway, 4K Capture Utility, <clears throat> you open it and then go to the settings on the top right hand corner. No capture device is found right now, but as soon as you start on your mobile device, sending the signal, broadcasting to screen link, and I'll show you that after we deal with the computer section. Uh, it'll send the signal to the computer and then it should show up on a drop down menu. And by the way, the app on the get started, it tells you with a video on how to get things going and it's plain and simple, but it's definitely Mac oriented. On Windows for 4K capture, once you send it out and start broadcasting on the same Wi-Fi network that your computer is directly plugged into, which is highly recommended you don't do Wi-Fi 
uh, on your computer to the router. Do Ethernet, okay? It should show up on this drop-off menu. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section below or on social media under nworld 7 and I'll hook you up with that. So that's for the Windows side what you need to get the basics done and then it should work. So now let's go for the Mac side. But before I go, I'd like to invite you to hit up Streaming Lab Academy where I do the written versions of these videos so you can read them in article form and you can sign up for the free PDF 40 plus pages of content creation that me and that my partners and I have created so you can stream and know how to turn your hobby into a better hobby or actually monetize your streaming or video content creation hobby and make some money out of it on any device, mobile, computer, console, it doesn't matter. So anyway, hit that up, link in the description too. So on Mac, we're gonna open up Game Capture HD. And here, as you can see, there is an iPad Pro 2018. That's actually because on Mac, I'm directly plugged in. That's the camera that's recording right now. That is the iPad being directly plugged into the computer. And right now, because it is recording, I don't want to update it so it doesn't, you know, mess up my recording there. But it would just show up, you know, native resolution, which is, well, of course, the Elgato is limited to 1080p without a capture card. It's just plug and play. You can use the capture card to actually capture your Android if you don't have an iOS for Mac or on Windows you can use the capture card to capture your phone and then put it up there as a capture source and stream. So it's kind of the same thing as Screen Link, it's just you do need to invest in the capture card which is link in the description for if you're interested in my affiliate link which I do receive some help from that and by the way thank you all for the subscribers 2,000 subscribers and plus appreciate you guys we've reached partnership by the way so I'm really excited to keep going with these videos uh, but let's go into screen link we're gonna go over on the phone too so once we're on the iPhone or iPad we're gonna go to the App Store I like to tap and hold which was 3d but it died uh, and then go to search or just open it and go to search put up screen link and then uh, it, it'll be the Elgato Screen Link app, which by the way has two stars, but it doesn't deserve that. It should have at least, I think, three to four, because here's the thing. There's a lot of reviews here. By the way, download it if you're, while we're talking, you know, download it. Uh, the Screen Link Pro is the one that gets rid of the 15 uh, minute limit, uh, which I highly recommend it if you're going to stream for more than 15 minutes. But if you're going to test this out, if it's going to work, definitely 15 minutes is enough. And once it goes out, you just cancel the stream on your phone and then resend it and it just works, you know. So you could you could do that if you want to. So anyway, screen link. The reviews people are saying like this guy, Skill Swiper, and others, not just him. There's a lot of other ones that have the misconception that this, uh, that your upload and download speeds affect this. It does not. Screen link goes directly to your computer and router and then it takes care of that. So you could send the max bit rate, which for the free version is 16 bit rate, 16 megabits. Uh, that is the one that actually is the most stable one, by the way. Uh, when you upgrade to the Pro and you get rid of the 15 minutes, Honestly, the 32, it's not stable enough, at least on my setup with a Netgear uh, RX 500 gaming router. Uh, even then, I'm having it uh, just disconnect out of nowhere on my uh, 2018 iPad Pro. So there's uh, on the five gigahertz network. So there's definitely some quick quirks there. It might be my setup, but I honestly think it's just Elgato having issues handling the 32 megabits, you know or maybe the settings on my game are too high. Definitely play around with the settings if your device is an older device. Uh, lower the game settings a little bit so you can you know, play around with it if you're having lag on your device. But when it comes to the actual stream being sent to the computer, your internet uploads have nothing to do with that. They do affect your stream when the computer is grabbing the signal you know, that from your game and sending it over to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, wherever it is that you wanna stream that is when your stream upload, your internet upload and download matter, especially your upload, not for your iDevice to the router or computer. So don't go out there and put a review and sound like an idiot saying this stuff, okay, please. Just saving you the hassle. By the way, no offense, Skill Swiper. Uh, so guys, once you get the app opened up, uh, you open it up, of course, uh, once it's downloaded, I mean, and then once you get it over here, you're gonna have the Get Pro stuff, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna focus on settings real quick. So on settings, as you can see, there it is, the max resolution, 1080p, 720, 480, whatever I was talking about. Choose the one that works for your setup and your actual screen resolution on your device, like an iPhone 10R. You don't wanna do 1080p because it only runs at 720. And then the bit rate, just do whatever you know you can, you can handle. Definitely for fast pacing games, 
don't do anything less than I would recommend eight, uh, six maybe, but even then like Call of Duty Mobile, it's gonna, the bit rate is how fast it sends the data. Uh, so if you send like a 720p and you put it at a two megabits, it's definitely gonna look better than a 1080p two megabits bit rate because it's sending, it's how fast the data travels and the more data you have to send, the faster it should go in order to reach its destination, right? And so Call of Duty Mobile is moving all over the place and that one definitely, a uh, lower bit rate is gonna look much worse than, for example, a MOBA like Arena of Valor or Mobile Legends. It's gonna look a lot sharper. It's not gonna be as drastic of a decrease in quality if you lower the megabits if you lower the bit rate. So play around with that and see what your router setup works and how far away from it you are and definitely stay on a five gigahertz if possible. So once we're done with the settings on the get started, it actually shows you like enabled recording and it comes with a video and everything. So do that and it tells you on PC what you need to do. That's the whole thing I was telling you the 4K capture utility and on Mac, it is the game capture, which we're gonna do right now. On your device then, swipe on the top right if you have one of the modern devices with a touch screen. I am screen recording, so we're gonna have to get rid of this and then we'll be on the computer, okay? That's when you'll see it. You're gonna press and hold on this red icon, which is gonna be grayed out whenever it's not actually recording. So definitely press and hold it, and you'll see. Right now I am screen recording, saving it to photos, but on yours it's just gonna say start instead of stop. And then of course you can turn on your mic or not. I recommend you don't turn it on and just use your computer's mic, which you can play around with a higher quality mic. But if you don't have one, then definitely you can use this one and it'll still go through with the game audio. There it is, screen link. That's the one we're gonna tap and then we're gonna hit start broadcast. So let's do that. As you can see, I have started the broadcast and hopefully you were able to see that. Screen link is sending it to the computer and as you can see on the computer, it just popped up screen link on iPhone 11 Pro Maximus. So we're gonna tap that, tap it I mean, and then bada bing bada boom, we're live. We are set and ready and we are actually broadcasting everything to the computer. Uh, and then you can definitely see there is a bit of a delay so you definitely won't be playing from here to there but it should be working by the way right now I have windows open and a bunch of other stuff so that's why you're seeing the FPS warning but if make sure if you see that to turn off some programs or something I'm literally running two machines on right now so definitely make sure you turn off some programs if you know your resources are being spent and whatnot uh, and then this should stabilize and, and what else so over here, as you can see, we are streaming it. Let's open up Call of Duty. Open Call of Duty Mobile. You can leave apps, go to apps, stay on apps, whatever you want. Make sure, as a pro tip, they call it on the Elgato, I call it a necessity. Hit the do not disturb sign, guys, because people will see your notifications and make sure you're careful with which apps you have open. It can be embarrassing. Uh, maybe swipe all of them off before you start streaming. I don't know, but uh, definitely do something about that. But there you go, there is Call of Duty Mobile on my device. Definitely, of course, the FPS thing shouldn't be there and this should just be a stable 60. You choose uh, the resolution, the bit rate, and all that stuff. And yeah, guys, that's, that's the sauce. You can literally do Arena Valor Mobile, whatever mobile game you want, it'll go. And so that's where I'm gonna leave it as for today. And then you can do your special, your transition screens and all that good stuff on the bottom. And this works for iPad and iPhone. And remember, if you want it to work on Android, you're gonna need a capture card for Mac. And for Windows, it should just uh, send it out. But the wireless version, so far it's been really stable and really good. So if you have any core questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And remember, I'm in War 7 and I do the Xbox Game Pass Quest, which is what is on the screen right now. I need to get those going for you. And I appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next videos. Peace.